Assalamu alaikum. Hi good people. Hope you are doing well. Today we are going for a sunny food mart looking some fresh vegetables and fish. Also I'm going to show you 2023 prize updates of Toronto groceries. So let's see what happens. Actually we are in downtown Toronto. It's almost 30 kilo far away from our location. So didn't find any convenient halal grocery store near our location where we can get some fresh vegetables and deshi fish. Walmart is very close to our home, but we didn't find any deshi fish and other deshi stuff. So we have to go bus. for it. We are almost there. Finally, we are here, so let's get inside. The store is very big and neat and clean, I must say. Here we can see some corn, some papers and capsicums. Maybe we are going to take some papers uh, here the two the two single papers price is three dollar and nineteen cents some green chilies over here the price is three dollar and fifty three cents for each bag I think there is pound system or something like unit system Some shaper papers, I like it so much and the price is per unit 2 to 3 dollar or depends on the pound and mostly they are 3 dollar, 4 dollar. Here we got some pointed gourd, Indian okra and the price is $4.91 for Indian okra and I like it. I, I know everyone likes it. So you can check it out here. Got some long beans and the price is $4.64 for this bunch. And the stuffs are like a per unit system or per LB system. So Here we got some Indian bitter melon and the price is $3.41. I think there are 8 bitter melons for each bag, price depends on per pound. Here we can see some dragon fruits, oranges, blueberries, strawberries and raspberries, but they are low in price. I know it seems like jackfruit, but it's not. I think it's Chinese durian fruit. Price almost $5 per pound. Here we got some tomatoes and the prices are $2 per pound. Finally, we are here to get some fish. These all are frozen fish. What we can do is cut it from fish cutter, but they are not gonna scale it. All you have to do it by yourself. Here are some frozen block fish, which is clean and scaled. What you have to do is just cook and eat. But I don't prefer this kind of frozen fish. Most of the time I got rotten ones. So better to take whole fish, cut it from fish cutter and scale it by yourself. That's better. Got some onions back, but oh, increased the price. Before it was just $3 whole bag. Now it's almost $6 whole bag. Here we are taking today sharp putty fish, which costed us eleven dollar and few cents. I think it's a good deal. You should get it. 
Rufu fish price was four dollar per pound. Got some hilsha fish as well. Such a good price, twenty five dollar for this fish, but we get much higher price in Bengali stores. Lutta should keep for those who like it and cook it well. And I really like balachung, it's, it's really yummy. And it costed us almost $9. And it's really yummy, I know everyone like it. Here we are at meat section, but these are not halal, so we are not going to buy it. As it's Chinese superstore, they keep non halal meat as well, but we always come here to have vegetables and fish and other stuff. But there are another section of halal meat, but we don't buy meats here. I'm gonna show you best halal meat store in another video. Here are some different kinds of oil, canola and vegetable oil prices are $10 per liter, olive oil is expensive than canola and vegetable oil and there are some salt and different kinds of sugar and that's all. Here we got some spices which is very important for desi cuisine and I can see here a lot of prices, mostly they are into 3 to $4 and some are $5 to $6 as well, depends on the packet size. We got a good deal of chilies, which is two for $3. Here is sauce and different kind of Korean products, which I don't know and some people really like Korean stuffs. for them this place is heaven. And we're here to have some milk and we always try to take this organic 3% milk and other milk we just don't like, they're like watery. 3% organic milk costed us $5.49 which is a good deal. You can also get almond milk, skimmed milk, 1% milk, 2% milk and a lot of various options over there. This place is good for them who like butter, cheese and hummus and those kind of stuffs. And we are just keeping this part because we just don't take this kind of stuffs. Cheese and paneer costs like 6 to 7 dollars. Here you can see lots of yogurt, juice, orange juice, mango juice, apple juice and yogurt drinks. These are mostly between 3 to 6 dollars. Here we got some turkey breast but I'm, I just don't like turkey so I'm not gonna take it. So I'm looking for a sausage and halal sausage so i'll go for jabiha halal and i must say jabiha halal is a good brand there is another brand called miner that is good also here we got some eggs and eggs price seems very expensive here rather than other stores we usually take eggs from another store but today we are gonna take from here we can see here 18 egg price is six dollar which is i think expensive Sometimes eggs are broken, so always check it before you take it. Here 
here is some birthday cakes the small one price is 22 dollar and the bigger one is like 40 to 50 and depends on the size and there are some yummy yummy cupcakes some pound cakes good parties all are halal there is an in-store restaurant and they have different kinds of fried items biryani fish and chili chicken fried rice and many more and the good thing is they are halal there are some different kind of buns Here are lots of rice, lots of brands, and but mostly they are from India, and those are mostly basmati rice, but there are a few Thai jasmine rice as well. You are not going to get nadi shell or our small grain aromatic chini gura or kalijira rice here, but you can get it in Bengali super stores. Mostly basmati rice prices are twenty dollar TLB bags. Mostly they are into eighty to twenty. You can get some good quality crockeries here. So don't forget to check out and I must say Walmart has also good quality crockeries as well. Crockeries prices are quite high here. I'm very very shocked to see this. The small one is $22 and the bigger one is $50 to $60. But you can get here all kind of regular crockery set, all kind of regular stops. Here you can get some Korean noodles, which uh, the red one is like $8. I know many of you like this one. There are some cup noodles as well. I'm gonna take this chia seed and the price is $9 almost each packet. got some ghee and the prices are really high here $30 each and it's, it's just high for this bottle taking green tea for me this is organic and it costed me $3 each packet and I really like that this is actually in under control here we can see lots of cornflakes milk powder milk and lots of breakfast items and i'm not gonna take it because i don't like this type of stops and here we can see some mayonnaise and some some nutella for breakfast and six dollar each bottle of nutella here we can see lots of shrimp and lots of type and lots of brands but i'm not a big fan of chinese shrimp those are like bad smell those kinds of bad smell i can take and but i'm gonna take one which is quite good rather than others so i'm gonna take the tiger shrimp which is better than others here we can see the snow crab and i really don't like it and it's not ten dollar it's twenty dollar each so it's really expensive. I know it's expensive in our country too. Here are some breaded frozen items and tail and calamari and onion rings and breaded shrimp and all. The breaded shrimps are $6 each and this tail is like $20 each, which is high.
here is some different kinds of chinese fish items which is not good for us these don't taste like deshi fish these are really stinky and it tastes so bad so i'm not gonna take it i'm just showing you there are a lot of fishes but these fish are really cheap rather than our fish i don't know because chinese can make anything they made it much cheaper than our regular fish you can see here prices are only three to four dollars which is very very cheap i think this pump panel prices are four dollar per lb and i really don't like this seems like our rook chada fish but it's not actually that much taste here you can get some sea fish and salmon fish salmon fish twenty dollar each finally got some basa filet which costed me $12 for four filet and I really like this fish. It, this fish is very good for deep fried. Here are some fresh coriander, thyme, Thai leaves and curry pata which I'm gonna take today some coriander, some onion bunch and you can see here onion bunch is $3 for two and i'm gonna take some fresh coriander and then i'm gonna take some curry pata i'm gonna try it for the first time let's see how it tastes the the curry leaves are seems expensive to me because it's seven dollar per pound which is like more than other vegetables coriander bunch costed me two dollar and broccoli price is two dollar per lb and spinach is two for four dollar here are some carrots lime cucumber red cabbage green cabbage and cauliflower and spinach as well and the spinach prices are like four to five dollar cabbage are much lower here so it's one to two dollar and cauliflower costed me four dollar each and this is much lower than other stores because other stores costed me eight dollar and i think it's really good deal cucumbers price seems like much higher than other times it's three dollar for each can you believe as i told you before sunny is really good for vegetables so we took a lot of vegetables from here and finally we are taking some eggplants those were really fresh it was three dollar per lb we are here to cut our fish and one afghani bhajan really cut it well and we told him to cut it as steak cut here you can get all kind of halal meats you can see here halal veal with bone five dollar 49 cents per lb here you can get halal lamb leg for nine dollar per lb halal baby goods eleven dollar per pound and you can get here lamb liver beef liver chicken liver and all kind of things he's cutting our fish Finally, we are checking out our groceries for today. So that's all for today. Take care. Bye bye and Allah Hafiz.